Let's learn how to play Zodiac War, an astrology themed board game for two to four players. Welcome, I'm Paul Starr, the designer of Zodiac War. Players will rotate the board to align planets and elements with their chosen sign. After placing the board on the table, select a zodiac sign from the elements of fire, earth, air, and water. You place your player mat in front of you and mark your planet and element on the board using the coloured rings provided. Then, each player receives five tarot cards. The tarot and zodiac decks are placed on the table, face down. Each player mat includes useful reference information for playing. And here is Libra. Libra's planet is Venus and her element is air. We will use Libra to show how a typical turn is played, noting Libra is playing as yellow. Libra's first action is to turn over a Zodiac card. This is Neptune. The board is always rotated clockwise, so reading the card from the top, the element ring moves two spaces clockwise. Then, the planet ring is rotated to align Neptune with Libra. If Neptune moves more than six spaces, Libra collects a tarot card which she does so. Libra checks her bonus and collects four faith, which I'll explain in a minute. Finally, all players check the yellow area for their symbol and collect or lose the faith or tarot card shown. The zodiac card is then discarded. Libra now plays three tarot cards from her hand to move the board to earn faith and star crystals. Faith represents the strength and loyalty of your followers and can be used to buy tarot cards and star crystals. Star crystals illuminate your constellation and you need three to win the game. Tarot cards cost two faith and star crystals cost 10 faith. Before playing cards, we must understand board alignments because these earn faith and are essential for earning star crystals. To explain board alignments, we will use Sagittarius as our example. The symbol for Sagittarius is the arrow. Her planet is Jupiter and her element is fire. A partial alignment of your sign with your element earns two faith. Aligning your planet with your sign earns four faith. Aligning your planet, sign and element earns eight faith. This is called a perfect alignment and instead of collecting faith, the player can buy a star crystal for 10 faith. Of course, three star crystals wins the game. So this is the recommended action. So let's return to Libra to play her cards. Libra has six cards in her hand because she started with five and gained a bonus with the Zodiac card. This is her hand. Players must play three cards and Libra plays these three. The position is important with the left card activating the left symbol and the right card activating the right symbol. The left card shows Libra and her symbol, so Libra gains a tarot card. This symbol says she can move the board up to four spaces and so moves the planet ring clockwise to align Venus with her sign. Remember, the board always moves clockwise. The middle card earns her two faith and the right card moves the board five spaces so she aligns air with her symbol. This is a perfect alignment, but alas, she does not have the 10 faith to buy a star crystal. Instead, she takes eight faith. Libra finishes her turn by buying tarot cards for two faith each, if she chooses. 
She has four cards in her hand, so buys two more tarot cards, leaving her with six cards and ten faith. Play now passes to the next player, who performs the same sequence of actions, namely, a zodiac card is revealed, three tarot cards are played, and new tarot cards are bought. The first player to earn three star crystals wins the game. Thank you so much for watching this video. Zodiac War will be available on Kickstarter soon.